Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is the Daily Telepathy. For those of you guys that identify with Twin Flame Connection, um, this is going to be a quick one. Um, that's all the time I have to do. I'm going to try to keep this like not too much longer than five minutes, but I'll just be using a three decks, okay? So if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me or any of the decks I'm using here or the items you see, energy items, my moon kit, candles, stuff like that, that will be in my um, site, on my site or my Etsy shop, okay? Also, you can get additional messages from my Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. You'll see it below uh, the video description where it says more. You may have to click on that twice, okay? So basically, I'm just going to get your energy, uh, the person watching, most likely will probably be a divine feminine, but feminine or masculine could be male or female, so take it out, resonates. And then I'm going to see what is the masculine's energy um, as well and get a few messages uh, for you, okay? And uh, clarify a couple of them um, if they need further clarification, okay? All right. So this is the um, Gilded Tarot. Um, this is the energy oracle, and this is my twin flame uh, messages, intuitive and visions, uh, 1111 twin flame messages, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with you, the person I was watching. Okay, so your intuition is telling you something. So you're having some type of clarity about something, or you're trying to get some uh, clarity Okay, number 40 could be significant with six chakra here with Archangel Metatron trying to help you get some clarity um, around whatever that is causing you to not uh, feel clear. So let's go ahead and see what that could have to do with. Um, page of Wands. So you, you're trying to figure out um, about if you're going to get some good news. It may be if somebody's uh, inspired to make this first step towards you. But whatever it is, it's something that is... Uh, from a passion base. Um, this could also involve another person, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. They could be younger than you or, um, you know, just not as uh, mature. Or this could be you representing this energy, you know, trying to take a that step towards your uh, intuition, trying to figure something out. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm getting for the feminine uh, watching. So the masculine's general energy here is a strategy. So this masculine does have a plan. OK, he is planning something. He could also be writing in his journal about his plan, but he has some type of plan. Twenty one could be significant. It's also a three. So let's see what that plan may have to do with Knight of Swords about some type of communication. So he is planning to communicate. He also may be planning on doing it very quickly, you know, rushing in to, you know, express this communication. Um, but he is he does have a strategy. So Knight of Swords, this could be uh, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius um, that you're uh, dealing with. Um, but may, or there could have been some uh, truth that came in really quickly that caused him to, uh, you know, that he needed to make a plan. Okay. So, you know, just take it how it resonates. So let's get a few messages uh, from them to you. Unfinished Conversations. All right, what are these unfinished conversations about? Okay, what is this? Yeah, there's some kind of good news or somebody's waiting for some good news. I just saw the judgment card on the bottom. Okay, what's these unfinished conversations that you have with this masculine? Nine of Swords. Okay, so either you have unfinished conversations with this masculine um, that is either causing you anxiety or is calling them anxiety. And that could be the reason why they're in this energy of planning because something is not finished. It's causing them to lose sleep, have nightmares. They might even begin dreams about you, but they definitely are um, in this anxiety. And with this air energy and the masculine, I do feel like that's what this masculine is planning on do, planning to do something about what feels to be unfinished here. Okay, that's causing him a lot of anxiety. What's at the root of this anxiety? Having to do with a conversation, though. What is it? Okay, uh, the death card. So either it has to do with a Scorpio or it has to do with some type of ending, which 
the death card is also has to do with, um, you know, a transformative energy. So he could be wanting to transform out of this feeling like, you know, unfinished, like, you know, allowing the conversation to take place. So maybe in the past he had a lot of anxiety about talking to you about something, but now it's like he wants to put an end to it. He doesn't want to continue to have this anxiety over stuff that f seems like it feels unfinished between the two of you guys. So 13 could be significant as well. So let's get one more and then I'm going to wrap this up. I feel really bad for how I treated you. All right. So they could have treated you by not allowing you to finish the conversation. Maybe they cut you off. Maybe they didn't want to talk about it. Whatever it was, they having a lot of anxiety over how they treated you. So how do they treat you that they feel bad about? Okay. King of Wands. So they may have, um, I'm getting a couple of things. First of all, they could have lashed out of you, uh, lashed out at you in some type of angry type of a way. Um, I'm also getting that sexual energy. Maybe they just treated you like, you know, you, you know, just was a sexual object or maybe they had a lot of bitterness and resentment towards you. So again, this is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. So why is the King of Wands here? With how I, I feel really bad for how I treated you. Yeah, I feel like this person, they pause things uh, with you. They didn't make things right, okay? Temperance card here is about balance, action, and emotion. I feel like they were not in charge of their anger issues. They caused a lot of anxiety between the two of you guys as a consequence. Um, things may have ended. They should have been more patient with you as well. I feel like they didn't. They didn't do that balance, action, emotion. Um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, definitely could be... Um, you know, if this resonates, could apply to you guys even more so uh, in your chart or somebody that was in between this. But I do feel like there is an element of wanting to, you know, do the right thing because this person does feel bad for how they treated you, okay? Um, Pause things, ended things. They left you in this state of anxiety by not allowing the conversation to be finished, okay? So now this masculine does have a plan. It uh, looks like it has to do with you because they feel bad about this. They could have a plan with other things, but I do feel like that's what they feel like there's something that is unfinished that they need to take care of with you okay all right you guys so if that resonated hit the like button if you did it already thank you so much uh for your love and support and all of you guys that always comment below and like the videos i truly appreciate you guys if you're new hit the um notification bell to get my latest videos and when i go live because i do do that um uh, here and there so Again, thank you so much. Anything that you're interested is going to be below the video description where it says more. You have to click on that twice, okay? So, you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night, um, whatever it is, wherever you are. Until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.